Okay, here's the thing. I'm not really holding up well. I've experienced just like a lot of transition, which is not a bad thing, it's just growing pains. I'm making a lot of career decisions right now that feel very big and scary. My mom's health is kind of at risk, maybe. She's in the hospital right now as we speak, as I record this. I'm actually recording this from my childhood backyard. Yeah, shit has just been really hard. It's just been really hard and difficult for the past couple months and I just wanna take something off my plate. I wanna take something off my plate and I wanna add something fun back onto my plate. For the next 30 days, I'm gonna not wash my hair. That's what I'm taking off my plate. I'm going to join what the internet calls the no poo movement. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Fuck you, I'm not doing this anymore. And the thing that I'm adding back onto my plate that is fun is uh, smoking weed in my parents' backyard. Thank you so much, America. So to be honest with y'all, I shot that video around November and back then I thought I was only gonna go 30 days without washing my hair. But fun fact, I've actually gone around 90 days without washing my hair. What up? I'm trash. You thought things were rough then. Who, buddy? I mean, but you get it. You're probably watching this video at home. See, once I started, I literally couldn't stop, wouldn't stop, or I couldn't start back up. What I'm actually trying to say is that not washing my hair has been the single most pivotal thing I've ever done in my hair journey. And you know what? While we're on the topic of my personal hair journey, let's just examine the timeline. I think we can all begin with the fact that my hair has always sucked. Now before y'all go apeshit on me about how I need to love myself in the comments, I have to say that I'm entitled to this opinion. Okay, I work with this bitch every day and she makes Karen from HR look like a Georgia peach, comparatively. I believe we all have one thing about our appearance that we wish looked better. So this is really weird, but one thing that I meh about my own body are my hands. For some reason in videos, they read really red. So sometimes people think there's something wrong with me. They're always super dry. I've never been very partial to my cheeks. I've always felt like I had too much cheek. Little jiggles. Little puffs. One of the main things that I feel super meh about is how easy it is for me to obtain a double chin like this, this, this. It's not, can we not? Okay, not liking everything of what your mama gave you isn't bad, it's just human. Like for an example, I don't like my hair because she's baby fine. She won't hold a curl to save her life. She will not stay the same color that you dyed her. And sometimes you can literally look through her. She's so transparent. Oh my God, she's on my worst qualities. You can't tell her what to do. She's inconsistent with her identity and she's transparent. Oh my God. I have lost years of my life just fussing with her. And for what? Mediocrity? A B minus performance at best? No. No. My life. Mm -mm. No. If I no. Oh my God, I'm giving myself indigestion. No. no. Trying to change the reality of my appearance to fit into something out there, it just isn't working for me. I would rather spend my time celebrating a part of myself that I do love. Like these, these twins right here. My brows, my golden girls. They never let me down. So that's why I decided to go for it. It is Tuesday, which means it's day four of not washing my hair. She's got some grease. She's got some bedhead. Because I recently had surgery, I haven't been working out. So I feel like typically my hair would be a lot oilier by day four. Today I'm definitely gonna be using some dry shampoo. So yeah, I didn't know it at the time, but this whole not shampooing your hair thing is a big movement online. Those who participate in it call it the no poo movement, which I, okay, the Capricorn in me cannot shut up. I just think that's a problematic title. Why? Okay, I'll tell you why. But I enjoy my morning constitutionals. How dare you? See? What I mean, it's not conveying the right thing. You just really want to come out strong with it. Anyways, anyways, there are many different ways a person could dip their little toesies in the NP movement. There are things called baking soda washes. You have your apple cider vinegar rinses, or the simplest way that I found in my research is something called just warm water. Yes, that one. And we all know 
that I am a lazy and opportunistic bitch. If there's a way where I can shirk my responsibilities and still get paid, I'm gonna do it. My eyelids are sweating. I can't compete. I feel like I get an extra 15 seconds because I have bangs. No. Oh, wait, don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not gonna work. You're gonna have to make two pretzels. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Consider yourself warned. It's truly a chaotic neutral approach. Day six of not washing my hair. Look at her go. She's got some natural oils. She's fluffy, which that's fun for me. I have to be on set today for a pretty big project. I think what I'm gonna do with this is curl her. Yeah, we'll just hope for the best. I just got back from being on set and they put a lot of makeup on me and so I wanted to take a shower. I'm gonna go out again tonight and I wanna redo my hair. I would have to wash my hair with this, brush her with this, and then dry her with that. And, and it would have taken like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, it's not a lot. My hair regimen is 15 minutes at most. There's some people whose entire morning is spent trying to tame the beast that grows out of their head. And here, and here I am complaining about 15 minutes. One could even argue that if I were to put in a little bit more effort, I might even like my hair more. And to them I say, no, I know myself and I love myself and I'm not doing that. I'm actually taking this train in the opposite direction. I'm choosing not to do anything. Catch up, this is the video. So a couple things. First off, I found the good light in my parents' house. Amazing. You're on the second week of not washing my hair and my hair texture is changing. Y'all, she's getting wavy. Shout out to my hairdresser for giving me the shag cut because she knew, she knew intuitively that it's the holiday season and the last thing I'm gonna wanna do is my hair. Now, everything I learned about hair has to do with my mom. She pretty much noticed right off the bat that I wasn't growing hair as a baby. I mean, when I was born, I was so bald they couldn't tell my head from my ass. That makes me sound like I was an ass head. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> ass head is such a good name. <laughs> oh my God, bring back ass head. Where did it go? <laughs> I'm calling the next person I hate online an acid. Stop me, you can't. My mom pretty much identified that I was gonna have the same struggles as she had with hair. There's just fine, nobody, like send help. So as a little girl, my mom used to make me wash my hair every day and I would actually stand underneath her in the mirror and when she was blow drying her hair and curling it, she would just reach down and do the same to my hair. My mom and I have been so connected through our hair woes that it wasn't until I actually broke out of my routine that I realized how much of my hair knowledge I had based around her. So I recently just got back from Atlanta and visiting with my parents and uh, my mom while I was there actually was like, I like your hair. <laughs> I was like, mom, are you lying to me? You know, I didn't, I should have got this on camera and I didn't because uh, I'm from dumb bitch island. My mom, my mom really liked my haircut and she really liked how my hair was looking. And honest to God, it took me by surprise. Not that she's a critique of me or whatever, but I just would have thought that she would have noticed like the change up and she didn't. She just noticed that she liked it. So it looks like the student is becoming the master. I sweat a lot last night because we turned our heat on in her house. So I rinsed my hair out and just dried it. And this is just the natural body in it. There is no product. It just, it feels like completely different texture. In the shower, I will say, I was like, ugh, I feel very oily. But then as soon as I rinsed it and dried it out, I mean, look at this. Like sure, I might put a little dry shampoo here, maybe a little something back here, but I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all. I go through a lot of dry shampoo. I have both the powder stuff and the spray -y stuff. And you know what, to me, it's like wine. I really can't tell the difference between two buck chuck and fancy wine, I will drink them both. The same goes for me and my DS addiction. And I just have to make sure that I use an amount that is equal to or greater than my own body weight. Let it snow. Do you see all that snow? I'll go back in. Okay, I can feel the disappointment just percolating in my comment section right now. I know I'm addicted to dry shampoo and I should probably find a better way. 
and I'm open to a better way. Please just tell me how you do it in the comments below. Whew. Yeah, I just woke up. It's Saturday morning, December 21st. We are here, we've done it. We haven't washed our hair for more than a month and she's doing it today. We finally did it. We went an entire month without washing our hair. Anyways, this was fun. This was jokes. But if my hairstylist Seda didn't approve, well then we were just gonna pivot. We were just gonna end it here. You see folks, I'm a grown woman, but my hair is a hundred thousand percent a ward of Seda. What she says goes. I'm actually really surprised. It's <laughs> what? not greasy, it looks dry and it looks normal. Like it's only been three days. If she doesn't like the buildup that I have no doubt dumped on my scalp, if I'm being gross, I'll stop. No, this has been like a month and uh, a week. That's five weeks. Like a whole week. But they do say after the 10 day period, your hair goes through a dramatic change. Are you grossed out at all to have no. like a month? <laughs> I would be. I might wear gloves. Just kidding. <laughs> Did joining the no poo movement make my hair perfect? No, but it made me enjoy it more. My hair feels healthier and she looks like she has more body, which were two goals for me. Check and check. So yeah, we're here. It's March, 2020. It's almost been 90 days. Speaking of March, 2020, hopefully y'all are staying safe and in your homes as much as you can. And I just wanna point out, do you know what being home is good for? Changing a beauty routine. Try cutting something out, like shaving or hot showers or washing your hair. Might be a little uncomfortable, but you might like it better. I, for one, am trying to get Patrick to shave his beard. I'm trying to see that chin before I invest another five years of my life. You know what I'm saying? Will you shave your beard during quarantine? No. In fact, I'm doing the opposite. I'm growing a quarantine beard. Really? 